can you share a tip for practitioners, something that like you want practitioners of this work in whatever space, like in the criminal legal system, um, in schools, to to know walking away from this conversation based off of your experiences? Yeah, I think one tip I have and um, something that I remind myself on the daily is to own and recognize my own biases. Mm -hmm. Own and recognize what I'm holding and what I am bringing to each interaction and knowing or at least trying to understand how that is going to impact the interaction or that moment. Um, if I'm feeling really good one day, then maybe I'll show up really good. But there are moments when I'm not doing well and I'm like, I can't have this conversation today because of whatever bias I'm holding or because I need to work on some things on my end first. Um, and I think that that is hugely important. Is there a specific example or if not a specific example, like a specific bias that like repeatedly shows up for you that you know you have to keep working on? Yeah, when there is anti-bias um, offenses or action done against the Asian American community. As a Philippine American, that is extremely hard for me because that is the identity that I hold. Um, so I always have to check myself on that. Yeah. How do you, yeah, like what does checking yourself look like? For that moment, detaching myself from the fact that that is a harm that may not directly impact me, but recognizing that, yes, it do does indirectly impact me as a Filipino American. Um, however, I need to put that aside for that moment when I am trying to really focus on a restorative justice solution um, and one that is really focused on relationship and taking myself out of it. I'm not someone who believes that within a process, like there's actual like objectivity, right? Because you are actually like a full human person, like mm -hmm. having to process and hold space for people who have caused um, people who look like you, people in your community harm. And like as a full participant in that process, like right, as both as a facilitator, but a person who's present, like I think sharing your impact, uh, sharing the impact that like this has had on you, like can also be helpful. Um, in different circumstances, like when do you decide like how to share like the impact that like all of this has on you as a person hearing that like in the identities that like this person has like caused harm to um, and when do you decide to swallow it? Yeah, so I think boundaries are really important um, in my role and also at the same time, there's a healthy way to be vulnerable and open and sharing those things too. So really depending on the situation, that will help me determine whether or not I bring myself into that situation to not humanize things a little bit more, but to also show like, hey, I'm not just a robot that is issuing these three set questions to you, but rather let me tell you how I've been impacted from what I'm hearing happens. Um, and I think that that's really important because that's still emphasizing relationship um, and that is still showing impact. And that's a way that I can humanize myself a little bit in that moment too. Yeah. Yeah. And right. The lines are fine and there's not like a uh, cut and dry, like this is how it applies in every situation. Like this is the moment that I'm going to detach. This is the moment where I'm going to like share, but you know, thank you for sharing those nuances about like how it it's, it's applied for you. It also reminds me of the question that I was going to ask you. You talked a little bit before about, you know, learning from indigenous Filipino um, wisdom about like, you know, how we embody this work. And I'm curious, like, if there's anything that you wanted to share um, out of like, this is just like my personal curiosity. Like, you know, I, I talk about, you know, values of Kapwa um, as like, you know, this idea of unity, interconnection, both from like Tagalog perspectives, like that's what the word means, but like in Babayan, which is the pre-colonial language of the Philippine, like where it's like Kapwa being like this interconnection between all beings, right? Um, both humans and like um, relatives in the natural world. But is there anything that uh, you've learned uh, from our uh, or from our Filipino ancestors that uh, has really helped you in this work that you want to share? Yeah, I think the idea of Bayanihan, the community spirit um, is so important. 
Um, I also think about the values that I hold in our Filipino traditions of family and food. I have like a picture in my office of um, just kamayan, right? Like just eating from the same plate, feeding one another and really drawing one another together. And whether they're healthy relationships or not, I think just the bringing together of people, of gathering, there's opportunity for joy and just for learning more about one another and spending time with each other. And that's something that I really value in my own life. And I can definitely see uh, traces of that in how I live restorative justice in my own day to day. Mm -hmm.